So you're playing Apex Legends and you found gold armor, but you kill a guy with red armor. Which do you take and which is actually better for you? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down the debate and tell you which is better. Let's do it. Welcome back to the channel, Warriors. I'm Warlug, and if this is your first time here and you want to learn how to improve your gameplay, get more kills, and other Apex Legends related tips, then start now by clicking that subscribe button and hitting the bell so you guys don't miss out on anything. Okay, gold versus red evil armor. Which is better? This is a huge debate in the Apex Legends community, but I'm going to go at it from a different angle. A lot of players just go with whichever they prefer, but I think that it's more than that. I think their strategy and the legends that you're using weigh heavy on which armor is actually better for you. Let me explain. Let's look at the gold armor. Level 4 armor, it's got 4 shield nodes, giving you an extra 100 HP. Now before it changes, it used to heal you 50% faster, you know, like using med kits or a battery was insanely fast. Also, it used to have an executioner ability on it, so if you performed a finisher on a legend, it would instantly fill your armor. Now all that has changed. Anytime you perform a finisher with any kind of shield, it restores it to full. Okay, now this was genius with respawn because nobody really used the executioner thing and finishers weren't such a big deal, but now they are. So, what changes happened to gold armor? Now, instead of healing 50% faster with your shield cells and syringes, now you heal double. So, with shield cells and syringes, now shield cells heal two shield nodes as opposed to one. And syringes heal two, you know, like, it's like two-thirds of your health instead of just one-third, for example. So, now, two, you know, gold armor with one syringe is almost a med kit. This was a huge improvement for gold armor in my opinion. It changes the landscape of what kind of items you need to keep in your inventory. Now, now let's look at the Red Evo Shield. Released this past season, the Red Evo Shield brought new content and something new to the game. The Evo Shield is a shield that you level up through dealing damage, damage to enemies as long as they are not down, which is very important. If a legend has been knocked down, shooting it isn't going to increase that Evo Shield. It's not going to upgrade it or anything like that. Now, once you have it upgraded all the way to purple, you can take it one step further to red. It has five nodes in its red Evo armor. The trick here is it starts off as a white and it only provides 25 HP, which is less than a normal white shield with 50 HP. It takes a lot of skill and picking the right shots to level up the armor without going down a few times. I know for me that whenever I use the Red Evil Shield, if I'm not shooting at somebody from a distance and I'm in close range, I typically have a hard time winning those fights with just Evo armor. Okay, but now you got Red Evo armor and it has a whopping 5 shield nodes giving you an extra 125 HP. But that's it. Like you just get extra health going through all of that leveling up, all that stuff. All it is is 125 extra HP. So it's only 25 more HP than the gold armor. And I mean, that is a lot. A lot of people may not think that 25 HP is a lot, but it is. It can make a huge difference in a fight. It can mean the difference between winning and losing that fight. Now, let's get out, get at what I was saying earlier. Both of these armors are great in their own way, but there's a lot of strategy I think Respawn put behind these armors and why they are so good for the game. First, it's the legend you're using. I think if you're using some of the thick boys like Gibby or Caustic, or even Lifeline are the best choices for gold armor. Lifeline used to use heals faster, but with the recent Lost Treasure event, her, her loadout has changed a bit. But I still think it's good for her. She doesn't have much mobility or having a way to kind of escape situations. So being able to heal more in a short amount of time is just more important. And Gibby under his dome shield, although it was reduced to 15% faster, that's still faster than normal. And I think the gold shield would be really good for him and caustic with all of their abilities. Mainly the legends who do not have mobility or ways to really escape fast, the gold armor is best for, in my opinion. Now with the Red Evo, the best legends to have on this are your more aggressive legends. Wraith, Pathfinder, Watson, Bloodhound, you know, Bangalore. These kind of legends have smaller hitboxes. They can scout, they can take a few hits and then get back and heal. Now based on your team and how you have to allocate these shields, you want to use whoever has the gold shield just to have shield cells and syringes. Okay, a gold batteries on gold shield mean nothing. It's just faster to use the shield cells over a shield battery. 
Now, given a situation, you may have to use a battery just to get back in the fight faster. But overall, you want to give your red Evo shields, those players, the batteries. It's going to benefit them more. Healing more in that same amount of time is more important than the gold shield. Okay. Now, it's kind of like, you know, with other legends. It's a pro tip, guys. If you have, for example, let's say the gold helmet. If you have Pathfinder, he needs to be using the gold helmet because his abilities charge the fastest. Or like Lifeline used to or Gibby should always have the gold backpack because they res the fastest. These tips are not only unselfish play, but maximize your team for the best situations. The red armor will be best for the more aggressive players and teams or players who know how to survive the longest. Overall, I think both armors are really good, but if I have to pick, this is for more of my play style, I choose the Red Evo armor. I'm an aggressive player and I like to fight, but lately I've been maining Caustic, or now Revenant, so I like to take the Gold armor. But the Red Evo and Gold armor are so good in this game, they both should be used all the time, depending on what legends you're using. It all depends on a lot of situations or what kind of team you're playing with and what kind of strategy you're doing. Now, if you're solo queuing in any capacity, I'd always say take the Red Evo Shield because you have no idea how your team is going to play or having, you know, the unknown, no comms, all that stuff. You don't know what's going on. So having the extra HP is just more important in my opinion. I'm happy Respawn put the Evo Shield in and, you know, and made the changes to the gold armor. So it kind of makes you pick and choose depending on what legend you're playing, team you're with. You know the situation that you're in you know sometimes you just have to swap out just to do it or you know you swap out to somebody who has a sniper rifle to charge up all the evo shields on your team it kind of just depends but let me know down in the comments guys let me know which armor you prefer gold armor or the red evo shield overall i think both armors are really good but if i had to give the slight edge i think the red evo shield is going to be the winner in this debate I think having the more HP in a fast movement game like Apex Legends is just more important. The batteries are going to be more useful. They're going to be more valuable to the Red Evo as opposed to Gold. You know, and especially with the gun meta, with the Havocs, the Ardynes, you know, these kind of weapons that just shred enemies, having the extra HP is just more important. So I think the Red Evo shield is going to win here. Now, if you can't level it up or you have issues leveling it up, then always, of course, take purple or gold. But... In the end, I think the Red Evo Shield is going to win the debate. All right, guys, I hope this video was really helpful, and I hope it helped you out in considering which armor you want to use on your team. If you have any questions about today's video, I stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on Twitch. The link will be down in the description below. And if you want more tips on how to improve your Apex Legends gameplay, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Click that little bell, as it always helps my channel out, guys. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.